Monday night, family night, <laughs> I've got everybody gardening. So last year I planted uh, butterfly bushes, they're going to go over there Justin, and none of them came back in the spring, I think partly because we didn't water them early enough, and partly because, um, I don't know, they just didn't survive our winter. So I ordered some more plants, I've got my husband and my daughter working on the plants we're gonna get some more of these and these are bigger plants than what i got last year so hopefully they'll grow better wanted to show you also all my peas have got flowers on them well not all of them but some of them so down here down here all the peas have flowers and then over here we're gonna got some water we got some melons planted in here so we're gonna plant some more stuff because things are looking kind of bad in my trays I got to get them in the ground okay harvesting broilers and now we're in the midst of birthday celebrations so we're picking up kids we're gonna go up to the Clark planetarium drop off broilers because I decided I didn't want to do broilers and we're ready to go all right so we are up on the city tracks train in Salt Lake and we are all sitting on the train getting ready to go in about five minutes four minutes three minutes something like that the kids like standing on the park that twists you do not need to write your precise schedule oh good yay <laughs> yeah well, it didn't make any sense to me that if you're just there for the exhibits and you show up late that you can't come in. I'm like, yeah, oh, that's dumb. I understand that video that shows, yeah. Yeah. And we've got, we, I sold my broilers. So that'll be all for the broilers this year. I think if we do them next year, we'll just do a small amount one time. And that'll be it. So, anyway, the kids are excited. We're all, uh, waiting for the train to go at the Greyhound Amtrak station in Salt Lake. So, anyway, off to the Clark Planetarium. You guys are doing a great job. You're checking the earth.
boys are having fun. decision not to do another round of broilers it just wasn't gonna work out with what we've got scheduled for me it was I, I have uh, goats due with kids right around the time that we would need to process and we have a family uh, camp out and holidays different holidays and I just didn't want to worry about it so we listed them on local um, news page called kslclassifieds.com anyway uh, and a uh, gentleman up north of here he was going to order some from the hatchery and now he doesn't have to and they're already two weeks long so uh, so I was able to sell them and and get them out of my hair <laughs> so I can do other things with my chickens um, and I it's a great relief to have that we have freezers full of chickens and it's about as much as we can do and I don't really have anywhere else to put any and I guess I could have processed and then sold it and made a whole bunch of money but I didn't want to have to worry about that either anyway we've got our squash all planted in the garden I'm take you for a walk out there here in a minute and and uh, and we're just gonna take a look at our, our uh, chicken runs and goat shelters and I need to get those things figured out so that we have a place for mamas to have babies when it's their time and to make sure everybody has enough space. I'm still in the process of trying to sell Rolo. Uh, I guess generally people don't want uh, three-year-old male goats. They want them younger, I guess. I don't know. So we'll keep trying that too. But it's my son's ninth birthday. We had a great time up at uh, Clark Planetarium. Made it home safely. And we'll be doing cake and ice cream this evening. But thanks for joining us. Hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and give us a comment down below. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.